Hey guys, here I got a vector motion blur tutorial, and uh, as you can see, I just have an array with some spheres, just some spinning. Yeah, nothing really special. You could do it. And um, here, to get motion blur, you go to effect, click vector motion vector motion blur, and keep the settings how they are. Nothing really special. And as you can see, it doesn't really do anything. Nothing happens. So you could just regular spheres. And even if you render, even if you render it, hold on, okay. even if you render it, nothing will happen. I'll just do, well, I'll just render for two seconds up to, I'll render for like one second, just 30 frames. Okay, now I click render, and as you can see, nothing is going to happen. Just wait, it's going to render because, yeah. Okay, as you can see, nothing's happening. You might, like, you would, motion blur is like when, when it's moving, there's like blurriness. It's a cool effect, and um, as you can see, nothing's really happening. We'll just stop here. Um, and look, you can click go back, stop, pull down like a little file, stop rendering, yes. Here, now just go back to the beginning, and as you can see, doesn't, nothing happens. Click play, just look, see, just, just exactly nothing happens. But, see, the trick to do this is, you click on the array, right click, Cinema 4D tags, and click on Motion Blur, it's right here, Motion Blur. Now, as you can see, hold on, I'll just, hold on, let's just see. I'll just see, see, look, nothing happens still, but if you render it, maybe something will happen, let's see. And the strength start always starts at 100%, and you can make it as high as you want. Okay, look as it renders, you can see, like, you might be able to start seeing a little motion blur, as you, obviously, because that's what we're doing, and, um, you can get as high as you want, and... And let's see, you saw that a little motion blur, and um, you can't really see it, so um, I'll just make it a little higher now. Okay, now I'll just put the strength to 200. Now I'll render it again. And this time you'll be able to see it easier. Okay, my computer is pretty slow. This is a pretty cool effect for intros, and um, it's really easy to do. And um, as you can see, Okay, look, you can see, um, I'll just wait till it renders, look. I'll just wait till it's done rendering, I'll just pause it. Okay, it's not done rendering yet, but as you can see, you see, like, it's, like, blurry a little bit, because that's a really cool effect, and, uh, you might like it in, if you're making an intro, or maybe if the person is making an intro, you might want to tell them that you want vector motion blur. And, um, you can put this as high as you want, up to, like, a thousand or whatever. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice effects for intros, and, uh, here, I'll just stop the rendering and play it. I only rendered 17 frames, so play. See, like, the motion blur? And here, you can even make, the, you can even make it a thousand, and we'll see what that's like. I'll pause it again just until it's done a couple of frames. Okay, guys, it's done. And this is just, this is a thousand motion blur. Just watch it. You see that? Isn't that sick? It's like going like, it's like the speed of light. And while I was rendering, I decided to, that I would do another, like, another tutorial here. It's going to be an updated version of how to put um, Cinema 4D text into Photoshop. So, just whatever. Get your text. Mo text, I'll just do. Just, you don't really have to change anything. I'm just going to leave it like this at a little angle. And, um, see, the easy, w the first way I did it, I saved it as a JPEG. I'll just save it as high, but save it as a JPEG. Okay. Um, no compressor, just save it as whatever you want. And I guess you can delete motion blur because you're not really doing that anymore. So um, now save it. Make sure you just since it's uh, what the fuck is it? You save it from zero to zero. Um, one I get from zero to zero. Doesn't really matter. Now just hit render. Oopsies, I forgot to do something. My bad. Can um make a a plane. Um, make it like just make the width a bunch of nines, make the height a bunch of nines, and um, now copy and paste the plane, control C and control V, and then just raise it up, make it high, and make a uh, one material. Double, you could just double click or go to file, new material, double click on it, 
uncheck color, uncheck specular, check luminance. That's all you need. Now drag luminance onto both of the planes. Now as you can see, now there's a white background. White background, except for, um, hold on, I'll just fix that. And I'll just copy this to my plane. Here, so now I just made like a wall, so it's completely white. So I'll take the text out a little bit because it's against the wall. Okay, and I'll just hit render. And as you can see, it's a white background. Okay, so once you have it, this is the this is not the right. This is one way to do it, but it's not that good. I'll show you. And now it's done. You open it. Oh, whoopsies. Okay, new, whatever. You click file. What the fuck? Okay, file, open. I named it high jpeg You open it and as you can see that, as you can see, you go to the magic rush tool, click that, but done, unlock the layer actually, double click, click enter. Then you click delete. And as you can see, it's like delete some of the text so it doesn't look that 3D. So now here's the easy way to do it. You don't even have to use the magic. You won't even have to use the magic wand. You go to Photoshop. Go to your render settings. Change it from a JPEG to a PNG image. Make sure alpha channel is checked. It has to be checked. Alpha channel has to be checked. Then just render it. Okay, and um... As you can see, it automatic. As you can see, it still has a white background. Okay, now I'll just just delete this, close it. I, know, I won't save it. Whatever. I'm okay. Um. Now file, open high. Dot PNG. Open it, and as you can see, look. Oh wait, hold on. Sorry. Um. I forgot. You have to delete the white. Okay, I just failed there. You should delete. You should delete all the planes so it has the default background, like the black one. Now render it. Make sure it does the PNG again. As you can see here, it has a black background. Then you click File, Open, High, that PNG, and look, no background. Look, no background. You can move it wherever. No text. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, yeah, this is. And also comment and tell me if you like the two tutorials in one or should I just keep them in separate tutorial or make two separate tutorials okay bye